Hi there crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Diana the Paper Pineapple and I'm back with another week in my Project Life 2023 album. This is Mark's week 29. I have finally caught up guys, yay! <laughs> I'm excited about documenting the recent things, right? Okay, so for this week I've decided to use um, a six by eight paper pad to mask glove. It's called Sunshine Boulevard and it's very summery. This is actually the same collection I'll be using for my summer mini album. I'm actually excited to work in that. So I'll be uh, filming that soon. Um, and then I just use a couple of um, cards. One is the Ellie Studio, the one with the three journaling spots with the cameras. That's from the, Jul no, the June um, uh, kit digital card set and then the other two black and white journaling cards those were freebies but i can't remember what they were from if they were from in a creative bubble or i don't know i can't remember i'll see if i can link it if i can remember um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and walk you through my week uh the top picture is a picture of um diver camp this is this is um veronica and diana to get put together is diver and so we get together in the summer and have these fun, cool activities for the kids to do. So this particular day we did swimming and we spent all day. We had all the snacks, had lunch, swam some more. It was 108 this day. It was super hot and we just wanted to cool off. And, and we had a lot of fun. I used a couple of stickers from uh, the paper studio. It's like one of those summer um, collections. Uh, just regular stickers. I call La Petite for tiny stickers, I'm assuming. Um, and so I used a couple of those and I do end up using a strawberry in that little tab there. Something about tan lines, I can't remember what it says, but anyway, moving on, the next two three by four pictures below that is a picture of my son helping me still take, uh, take down some more white nectarines that we have in our tree. And then the following picture is a picture of my daughter. Um, it's a picture of me uh, painting her nails well actually her toe has officially healed and she allowed me to paint her toenails so I did gel nails on her fingernails and just did regular polish on her toes and she was gearing up for the Barbie movie because she was gonna go with her best friend Sophie to the movies so wanted her to be all glammed up for the movie right so anyway and then the picture below that's a picture of myself with, a, with my family, my kids, my husband. And for this particular picture, I ended up grabbing some vellum and I just kind of fold that over just to give it some kind of muted look. I love that look, like that frosted look. And then I just got um, this little digital from um, the Sunshine Boulevard collection. Um, I used the Damask Sunsi Sunshine Boulevard uh, digitals from AC Digitals. I'll go ahead and link that in the description as well so you guys can check it out and you guys can download your own stuff. I usually get my digital papers and all my ephemera pieces from several collections there. So you might wanna check it out. I went ahead and print cut all of these pieces with my Cricut. I do love fussy cutting, but when I'm you know, pressed for time, I like to just whoop out my Cricut and have all the cuts, so. And then I'll take out a couple of these labels. These labels are actually from Veronica Create Shop. You guys might want to jump over to her shop and support her. Um, this actually is for the Full Bloom label set. Um, I'll go ahead and link that in the description as well so you guys can head on over and print and cut or fussy cut your labels if you'd like. They're great to use. Um, continue with the right side of my um, layout here is a picture of all of us and our bowling shoes and this marks our work kids one year of anniversary and we happen to do the same activity that we did on our first date which was go bowling go bowling and eat, eat lunch together so that was fun um, and then I just pulled out some freckled fawn um, green alpha stickers and I used the one two and the three so that I can document that on the little card there journaling card where all the cameras are at because they're already numbered one two and three i went ahead and did that ahead of time and printed that card out and then and that jot it down card i'm going to go ahead and journal about you know about the 
kids getting to know each other for a whole year of fun activities. So super excited to continue on those fun adventures. The next two, well the next picture, the three by four below the bowling picture is a picture of myself with my best friend, Sonia from elementary school. We've been best friends for over, I don't even know, like probably 28, 30 years, who knows? I kind of lost count, but um, her and I got together and we had Paneras and we had a good little lunch date and that was fun. I like to catch up with all my friends. And then the bottom two pictures was a picture of my daughter and her best friend Sophie and her family, her sister and her mom and her brother decided to go check out the movie. I was kind of bummed because I was expecting our cinema to have like something cutesy for the Barbie movie. I've been seeing everywhere like the Barbie box, the backdrop with all the balloons and I was really bummed that they didn't have that at our cinema. So womp womp womp. But needless to say, I still was able to manage to make it look somewhat cute. Um, I'll have I'll um, upload that video shortly on YouTube and on Instagram. If you guys haven't followed me there yet, you might want to check me out. It's at the dot paper dot pineapple. Just FYI. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and jot down the activities from our one year friend anniversary and just added a little uh, piece here that says happy either happy or happy day something like that and then i use these tam amy tangerine puffy stickers these are super cute and add those here and there just to embellish um, and then these last two pictures are my favorite i decided to use this leftover um, protector sheet i made it kind of like a little booklet and I printed these to specifically fit that size. And I got the two coordinating, coordinating papers from the uh, paper pad and kind of trimmed my papers to fit that little booklet. And I'm, it already has the hole already in there. I was kind of debating whether I was just gonna have it just flip through with the, uh, like as a little insert, or I was gonna make a pocket with it. I wasn't sure, but as of right now, it's just gonna go straight in the album as is, so. It was cute to have um, our pictures in this little cute little booklet. As you guys know, I do have a card making group. We are called the Pretty Pineapples, hence after the paper pineapple. I'm sure you guys already uh, figured that one out. And this particular meetup, we meet once a month and we have a, a card challenge and a food challenge, uh, like a theme. And this specific day we had um, we were all assigned a specific color and we were supposed to do a monochromatic card with the color that we were assigned. And we were supposed to buy the snacks in all the colors. So pink wasn't there and green wasn't there. Two members, Stephanie and Veronica. Um, yeah, they had other things going on and they were missed, but we will see them at the next meetup. Um, so yeah, I just get this little a journaling sticker, added that on the page. Uh, got another little ephemera piece from the Sunshine Boulevard digital set. And I used my rolling date stamp and used the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Ink and Festive Berries. And then I just journal a little bit about the day in our meetup. We did end up swimming that night too. Um, we always have fun. And um, so yeah, it was great. We had a fabulous time. And I enjoyed having this little insert in a different size. Sometimes I like just to make things a little different, mix things up a little, and thought it made, I thought it looked super cute. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it guys. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, I'll go ahead and um, link all the stuff that I've used. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, click on that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much, y'all. I appreciate you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next crafty video. Bye guys. Oh yeah, and I forgot one more thing. We have just released a new episode on a storyteller's podcast. I am co-host with Veronica Creates here on YouTube and on Instagram. If you guys want to go check us out, I'll go ahead and leave all the deets in the description and hope you guys join in on the fun. All right, this time for reals. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.